YouTube, first off, for the love of God, do not buy an HP Pavilion 9000. I am telling you right now, you will regret it. This piece of shit right here. Okay? And this is what it looks like on the inside. Okay? For the love of God, do not buy one. I'll get to that in another video, but trust me, do not buy it. Anyways, happy Halloween doing football picks. I know it's a little shaky. I'm borrowing my uncle's computer because mine took a shit. So anyways, that's me here or there. Let me give you some football picks. First game of the week, Thursday night. San Diego at home getting 9.5 against Kansas City. Who cares? They're both garbage as far as I'm concerned. San Diego is horrible. You know, they, they had a rough team. They had a rough matchup against Cleveland. Kansas City is no better. I think they're both as bad. But take San Diego with the 9.5 points, but I like Kansas City to cover the 9.5 points spread because San Diego ain't that good either, honestly. Uh, Green Bay getting 10 against Arizona. You may as well give them 20. Arizona is horrible. I told you guys and they were 4-0. That didn't mean nothing. It was a fluke. They've lost four straight now. They suck. Packers are going to bury them. They're going to be pissed off after the way they play against Jacksonville, even though they won. But they should have creamed Jacksonville. They barely won. Give me the Packers with the 10 points. They're going to destroy Arizona. Detroit getting three and a half at Jacksonville. Another game. Who cares? It does not matter. Both these teams suck. But take Detroit because Jacksonville is that bad. Even though they did play good against Green Bay, Green Bay's defense sucks right now. Green Bay, you're lucky you played Jacksonville. If they any other team, you guys would have got annihilated. So take out the Lions with three and a half points. Uh, Chicago getting three and a half at Tennessee. Tennessee is not as bad as their record, but I like the Bears. I was not impressed with the way the Bears played against Carolina last week. You guys won one by one point. In fact, you should have lost that game. But take the Bears. I think they'll, they will rebound and get better. Denver getting three at Cincinnati. <laughs> I'm a diehard Bengals fan. Okay, but I can admit the Bengals suck. Their defense is pathetic. Okay, the only the only player on the Bengals right now that's worth a damn is AJ Green. Honestly, Andy Dalton, he's up, he's good, he's good, but he's up, down, up, down, up, down. You can't count on him. Recently, take the Broncos. Peyton Manning is going to go up and down that defense. Marvin Lewis, Mike Brown, it's time to move on. It is time to fucking move on. You guys are horrible. Consequently, the Bengals will lose this game. They will lose 35, and the Bengals may get 14. Bengals suck. Marvin Lewis, the only reason you are not considered the worst coach in the NFL right now is because there happens to be one in upstate Ohio and Cleveland that's actually worse than you. Take the Broncos. They're good with three points. Take the Broncos with three points. I don't want to talk about them. I can't even stand that team right now. Uh, Washington getting four against Carolina. No, who cares? Who cares? Washington may be good in a few years, but they ain't going to do nothing this year. Take out the Redskins with the four points, because Carolina's garbage. They're flat-out garbage. Uh, Baltimore. <laughs> Getting three and a half at Cleveland. Are you kidding me? You may as well give them 30. Seriously, Cleveland is horrible. I know Cleveland's playing better ball recently, this and that, but you know what? I know Ravens are without Ray Lewis, their big leader, but they will beat Baltimore. Or they'll, they'll beat Cleveland. They'll beat Cleveland. Damn it, I can't do this today. Take uh, the Ravens with three and a half. They're going to bury them. Miami getting one at Indianapolis. People, I got news for you. Miami is a good football team right now. Miami is probably the most underrated team in the National Football League right now. The Colts ain't bad. They're not bad. But I like the Dolphins to go in there and beat the Colts, personally. Take the Dolphins with one point. Houston getting 10 against Buffalo. Give them 20, you'll still win. Buffalo's horrible. Ryan Fitzpatrick is good. But he's not a starting cornerback in the NFL. You guys will find that out. Buffalo and Jacksonville would probably be the only places right now that Fitzpatrick would be the starting quarterback. Take, uh, take uh, the Texans to blow them. Blow them out of the water. Seattle getting five against Minnesota. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about Minnesota being good. Minnesota is not a good football team. I'm sorry. Minnesota may be the most overrated 5-2 and two team in the league. They are horrible. Seriously. Christian Ponder may be good. The Vikings may, the Vikings are a one-and-done team. That's been proven over the years. They cannot win in the playoffs. Yeah, they won with Brett Favre. It was a fluke. It was a one-year fluke. Take out the Seahawks with five points. I think they're going to beat the Vikings outright, personally. Uh, Oakland getting one against Tampa Bay. 
take Tampa Bay. I the way they played against Minnesota. Minnesota actually doesn't have a too bad of a defense, so I like Tampa Bay to go in there and beat him. Carson Palmer, he's done. Trust me. Trust me, Raider fans. He's getting you by, but he's done. New York Giants getting three and a half against the Steelers. Take the Giants. Steelers are playing, coming back, playing good football. Ben Roethlisberger, you guys are lucky you got Ben Roethlisberger. If you didn't have Ben Roethlisberger, you guys would be a one and six, two and two and six team right now. Take uh, the uh, Giants at three and a half. They're going to go all over that Steelers defense. The Steelers defense is old. They're tired. I mean, and personally, the Steelers haven't beat nobody that's worth a damn, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so take the Giants at three and a half. Giants are the real deal right now. I got them as the best team in the NFC. And the Sunday night, Sunday nighter, Atlanta getting four and a half against the Dallas Cowboys. Atlanta, even though you're seven and zero, I'm still not a believer in you. Honestly, the Falcons are not as good as their seven and zero record. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but I just don't believe the Falcons are that good of a team. I mean, Matt Ryan's good, yes, their defense is doing just enough, but you know what? They've squeaked out a couple of victories they shouldn't have. And uh, but the Cowboys, Jerry Jones, it's time to move on. It is time to move on. Tony Romo is not the answer. He's garbage. Take, the only way you guys are going to have a chance in this game, you're going to have to have another quarterback besides Tony Romo. You're not going to win with Romo because he's going to throw interceptions. John Kitna, I don't know if he's still there, but John Kitna, the 15, 16-year veteran, plays better than Romo when, when Romo was out with that broken thumb or whatever he had. Take, uh, take the Falcons with a four and a half and bury the Cowboys. Cowboys suck. Um, and our final game, the Monday Nighter, New Orleans getting three and a half against the Philadelphia Eagles. Take New Orleans. It, 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 who cares? Another game, who cares? Take New Orleans. I think Drew Brees is going to do good. Philadelphia ain't that good. Honestly, Michael Vick is done. You guys need to move on. Take the Saints with three and a half. And our bye weeks are the Patriots, Jets, Rams, and 49ers. So happy Halloween, everybody. Stay safe tonight. You kids stay safe. And we'll see you next week.